Welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing what you say yes to and how to decide. Kind of a follow-up on last week's episode, episode number 44. Welcome to this edition of Peak Peak Performance Performance Podcast Podcast. with your host, Thor Conklin. Thor will be sharing the necessary tools, strategies, and psychology you'll need to become a peak peak performer performer in any area area of of your your life life or business. We are going to be starting a new tradition here at Peak Performance Podcast. Every Saturday, you're going to receive the Peak Performance Tip of the Day. Today's tip is what we say yes to. It's very similar to the episode that we had on number 44 last week, but I wanted to bring this full circle because I get so many questions about this particular area. And this is saying yes to something in the future. So many of you are very good at saying no to things when it's happening right now. I've got too much on my schedule. Your schedule's packed and you say, look, I just can't do it. I'm just too busy right now. But what many of you suffer from, and I did as well, that is committing to things in the future. Someone comes to you and says, look, in six months, I need you to give this speech. No problem. Hey, in four months, I need you to put together this program for me. No problem. Why? Because we think in the future, one, you're not going to be as busy, right? And also, it's so far in the future that we don't associate with it at this point. You need to be extremely careful about what you say yes to, not only today, but in the future. If you remember in episode 44, I said make sure that the yes that you're saying yes to is something that moves you closer to your goals. But it also has to be something that doesn't take your schedule over and put you in a state of chaos because you've got too much to do. Peak performers do not load their schedule up to the point where they can't get the stuff done that they need to. They're only scheduling the important stuff, and they're not over-scheduling. Why do we commit to so many things in the future? We just talked about we feel like we're going to have time then. And also, a lot of times, it's out of guilt. You're like, oh, you know, I really do need to get to see mom. I really do need to spend some more time with Bob. Here's the test that I use. Is this thing that I'm saying yes to something that I want to do? Is it moving me closer to my goals? And if I had to do it this week, with my schedule the way it is this week, is this something that I would commit to? Because let's face it, in six months when this event comes up, you're going to have the same schedule that you do now. You're going to be just as busy, if not busier. If you don't learn how to say no to things, you will never be the peak performer that you could be. These tips of the day are going to come to you every Saturday. You may actually even get a bonus one throughout the week. They are going to be under five minutes. Question of the day. What sort of rules and guidelines are you going to put in place so you do not overcommit yourself? Call to action. Implement those standards, those guidelines, those rules, and be very careful what you say yes to. Also, look at your schedule and those things that you've committed to in the future that are not important, don't move you closer to your goals, and are going to be a bind on your calendar, if you don't need to do those, get them off your calendar, change it, and do that now. Now, you know by listening to these podcasts, I'm very big on keeping your commitments, and I'm not asking you to to break a commitment that you made. However, I want you to look at these things, and if something can be undone, do it. If you've made the commitment and someone's counting on you, you can't, Obviously, that's your call. Don't break it. But at the very least, stop making commitments in the future that you don't need to make. Don't overcommit. Thank you for listening today. I hope you enjoy these tips of the day. They'll come every Saturday. If you've not already subscribed, please go to iTunes, subscribe to the show. Leave us a five-star rating so we can reach additional people through our ratings in iTunes. Sign up for our weekly newsletter on additional tricks, tips, tools, and techniques on how to be a peak performer. And until next time, have an absolutely amazing day.